Introducing Samsung Galaxy A10 Product Layout Hard Keys Soft Buttons When you turn on the screen, the soft buttons will appear at the bottom of the screen. The soft buttons are set to the Recants button, Home button, and Back button by default. Battery Charging the battery, connect the USB cable to the USB power adapter. Plug the USB cable into the device's multi-purpose jack. Plug the USB power adapter into an electric socket. After fully charging, disconnect the charger from the device. Then, unplug the charger from the electric socket. Installing the SIM or USIM card, insert the SIM or USIM card provided by the mobile telephone service provider. Dual SIM models. Insert the ejection pin into the hole next to the tray to loosen the tray. Pull out the tray gently from the tray slot. Place the SIM or USIM card on the tray with the gold-colored contacts facing downwards. Gently press the SIM or USIM card into the tray to secure it. Insert the tray back into the tray slot. Activating SIM or USIM cards, launch the Settings app and tap Connections SIM Card Manager. Select a SIM or USIM card and tap the switch to activate it. Memory Card Installing a memory card, insert the ejection pin into the hole next to the tray to loosen the tray. Pull out the tray gently from the tray slot. Place a memory card on the tray with the gold-colored contacts facing downwards. Gently press the memory card into the tray to secure it. Insert the tray back into the tray slot. Formatting the memory card, launch the Settings app and tap Device Care Storage Storage Settings SD Card Format. Initial Setup Turn on the device. Select your preferred device language and select Next. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Transferring data from your previous device, launch the Settings app and tap Accounts and Backup Smart Switch. Transferring data wirelessly, on the previous device, launch Smart Switch. On your device, launch the Settings app and tap Accounts and Backup Smart Switch. Place the devices near each other. On the previous device, tap Send Data Wireless. On the previous device, select an item to transfer and tap Send. On your device, tap Receive. Backing up and restoring data using external storage. Back up data from your previous device to external storage. Insert or connect the external storage device to your device. On your device, launch the Settings app and tap Accounts and Backup Smart Switch Restore. Understanding the screen, controlling the touchscreen. Hiding the navigation bar, launch the Settings app, tap Display Navigation Bar, and then tap Full Screen Gestures under Navigation Type. The navigation bar will be hidden and the gesture hints will appear where the soft buttons are located. Home screen and app screen. Switching between home and app screens. On the home screen, swipe upwards or downwards to open the app screen. To return to the home screen, swipe upwards or downwards on the app screen. Display the screen in landscape mode. On the home screen, tap and hold an empty area. Tap Home Screen Settings, and then tap the Rotate to Landscape Mode switch to activate it. Changing the Screen Lock Method To change the Screen Lock Method, launch the Settings app, tap Lock Screen Screen Lock Type, and then select a method, Swipe, swipe in any direction on the screen to unlock it. Pattern, draw a pattern with four or more dots to unlock the screen. Pin, enter a pin with at least four numbers to unlock the screen. Password, Enter a password with at least four characters, numbers, or symbols to unlock the screen. Notification panel, using quick setting buttons. To change feature settings, tap the text under each button. To view more detailed settings, tap and hold a button. Entering text, keyboard layout, tap languages and types manage input languages and select the languages to use. Changing the keyboard, to change the keyboard type, Tap Languages and Types, select a language, and then select the keyboard type you want. Apps and Features, Installing or Uninstalling Apps, Galaxy Store, Purchase and Download Apps. You can download apps that are specialized for Samsung Galaxy devices. Launch the Galaxy Store app. Select an app to view information about it. To download free apps, tap Install. Play Store, Purchase and Download Apps. Launch the Play Store app. Installing Apps, select an app to view information about it. To download free apps, tap Install. Phone, Making Calls, launch the phone app and tap Keypad. Enter a phone number. Tap Call icon to make a voice call, or tap Video icon to make a video call. 
Blocking phone numbers. Launch the phone app and tap options settings block numbers. Tap recants or contacts, select contacts or phone numbers, and then tap done. Messages. Sending messages. Launch the messages app and tap. Add recipients and enter a message. Blocking unwanted messages. Launch the messages app and tap options settings block numbers and messages. Block numbers. Tap inbox and select a contact or a phone number. Or, tap contacts, select contacts, and then tap done. Internet, browsing web pages, launch the internet app. Tap the address field. Enter the web address or a keyword, and then tap go. Activating secret mode, in the toolbar at the bottom of the screen, tap turn on secret mode. If you are using this feature for the first time, set whether to use a password for secret mode. Changing security settings, you can change your password or the lock method. Tap settings privacy and security secret mode settings change password. Email, setting up email accounts, launch the email app. On the list, select an email service or tap other. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. To set up another email account, tap add account, sending emails, tap to compose an email. Add recipients and enter a subject line and text. Tap to send the email. Camera, taking photos. Video mode, on the shooting modes list, tap video. Tap to record a video. To capture an image from the video while recording, tap. Tap to stop recording the video. Camera settings, pictures, pictures as previewed. Pictures as previewed, set the device to save photos as they appear on the preview screen when taken with the front camera without flipping them. Hold shutter button 2, set the device to capture moving subjects in a series of photos when you tap and hold the camera button. Gallery, viewing images. Viewing videos. Viewing the details of images and videos. Radio, listening to the FM radio. Wi-Fi, connecting to a Wi-Fi network. On the settings screen, tap connections Wi-Fi and tap the switch to activate it. Select a network from the Wi-Fi networks list. Wi-Fi direct, on the settings screen, tap connections Wi-Fi and tap the switch to activate it. Tap Wi-Fi direct. The detected devices are listed. Select a device to connect to. The devices will be connected when the other device accepts the Wi-Fi direct connection. Request. Sending and receiving data. Launch the gallery app and select an image. Tap Wi-Fi direct and select a device to transfer the image to. Accept the Wi-Fi direct connection request on the other device. Bluetooth. Pairing with other Bluetooth devices. On the settings screen, tap connections Bluetooth and tap the switch to activate it. The detected devices will be listed. Select a device to pair with. Accept the Bluetooth connection request on your device to confirm. More connection settings, nearby device scanning. Set the device to scan for nearby devices to connect to. Printing, configure settings for printer plugins installed on the device. You can search for available printers or add one manually to print files. Refer to printing for more information. VPN, set up virtual networks, VPNs, on your device to connect to a school or companies. Private network. Private DNS, set the device to use the security enhanced private DNS. Biometrics and security, biometrics preferences, change the settings for biometric data. Google Play Protect, set the device to check for harmful apps and behavior and warn about potential harm and remove them. You can also allow the Google location service to provide more accurate information about the location of your device. Install unknown apps, set the device to allow the installation of apps from unknown sources. Encrypt SD card. Set the device to encrypt files on a memory card. Registering your face, on the settings screen, tap biometrics and security face recognition. Read the on-screen instructions and tap continue. Set a screen lock method. Select whether you are wearing glasses or not and tap continue. Hold the device with the screen facing towards you and look at the screen. Position your face inside the frame on the screen. Registering fingerprints, on the settings screen, tap biometrics and security fingerprints. Read the on-screen instructions and tap continue. Set a screen lock method. Register your fingerprint. When you are finished registering your fingerprints, tap done. Accounts and backup, syncing data. On the settings screen, tap accounts and backup Samsung Cloud. Tap settings sync and auto backup settings sync. Tap the switches next to the items you want to sync with. Backing up data. On the settings screen, 
tap accounts and backup Samsung Cloud backup this phone. Tick items you want to backup and tap backup. Tap done. Restoring data, on the settings screen, tap accounts and backup Samsung Cloud. Tap restore data and select a device you want. Tick items you want to restore and tap restore. Motions and gestures, easy mute, set the device to mute incoming calls or alarms by facing the device's screen downwards. One-handed mode, activate one-handed operation mode for your convenience when using the device with one hand. Finger sensor gestures, set the device to open or close the notification panel when you swipe upwards or downwards on the fingerprint recognition sensor. This feature is not available when the sensor is detecting your fingerprint. Swipe to call or send messages, set the device to make a call or send a message when you swipe to the right or left on a contact or a phone number in the phone or contacts app. Precautions, do not store your device in very cold or very hot temperatures. Do not expose your device to direct sunlight for extended periods. Do not place the device in any areas that may overheat, such as on an electric heating mat. For more updates subscribe to our channel. Unlock the screen. Pin, enter a pin with at least 4 numbers to unlock the screen. Password, enter a password with at least 4 characters, numbers, or symbols to unlock the screen. Notification panel, using quick setting buttons. To change feature settings, tap the text under each button. To view more detailed settings, tap and hold a button. Entering text, keyboard layout, tap languages and types manage input.